What's up guys, it's ESO here, back with another Fallout 4 Far Harbor guide. In this video guide, I'll be showing you how to find December's Child, which is a unique combat rifle. And this one actually has four legendary effects on it. Firstly, it's lighter, and it uses 5.56 ammo. Just to be clear, this doesn't mean that you can upgrade the receiver and still use 5.56 ammo. This weapon's actually the only other weapon in the game apart from the assault rifle that can fire 5.56 ammo. And the third legendary effect it's got is the 25% faster firing rate and lastly the 15% faster reload speed. And those two things go really well together. I personally really like this weapon, it does a lot of damage even from a distance. And it works really well for a sneaky safe type of build, especially on survival mode, which is how I've personally set it up. But first I'm going to show you where to find it and then I'll show you the way to get the most damage out of it. So you're going to want to come here on the map, it's southwest from Far Harbor, just here. It's the Vim's factory. Once you're here, you're going to want to come to the right around the outside of the building. Just go down the ramps here. I've already cleared out all the super mutants to make this guide super easy and quick for you to watch. We're just going to go inside the building through these double blue doors here. Once inside, just follow where I go. This place can be a little bit of a maze, but if you go right, take the staircase up and then just go right across the catwalk and through the door. Now we're just going to take these stairs downwards and we can hop over the railing just down here. And then just go right through this opening and you'll see the security gate on the other side of the room. Now all we need to do is hack this terminal to open the door and don't worry it's a novice lock. A lot of people usually ask me how I managed to guess the right password and that's because I've been playing this game so long that I, I've just memorized some of the screens and what they look like. But anyway, access the elevator and go down into the secret basement. Once you're down here, a computer called Kai will start talking to you. Signs of life detected. Scanning. If you need assistance, please approach the intercom. If you head over to the intercom, you can actually have a conversation with them. Now, there are two ways you can access the room that the computer is guarding. The best way is to simply pass a speech check to get straight inside. The second way though, is if that fails, is to bring the follower, Nick Valentine, with you. If he's not with you, you can simply return with him later. But once you've done this, the computer, Kai, will unlock the door for you and pick up the unique weapon, December's Child. It's just here on the table. Anyway, to do more damage with this weapon, you're going to want the following perks. Rifleman, Commando, and the Bloody Mess perk. In terms of customization, this setup I'm about to show you is going to give you the most damage at medium to close up range. And it's also going to work for a stealthy character build. And I recommend making it into a machine gun instead of a single shot weapon, because you benefit more from that 25% increased firing rate and it will just absolutely melt through enemies. Now take your weapon to the workbench, you're going to want to upgrade the receiver first to the powerful automatic receiver. I recommend that you then upgrade the weapon's barrel to a longer one. Now this actually makes the weapon's range ridiculously good, as you can see. It also increases your accuracy. Another thing you can do is upgrade the weapon's stock to the recoil compensated one. It's only a slight improvement though, but if you want it to be the best, go for it. Now upgrade your magazine to the large quick eject one. Reloading will now be very swift and the larger mag is even better because obviously your firing rate is 25% faster. I'm just sticking with the standard reflex scope myself, but you can change that up if you want. And to finish off this absolute masterpiece, I'm going to add a suppressor. Personally, that's how I like to play. And the drop in range is pretty much unnoticeable. And then we're left with a silenced rapid firing weapon that has pretty much no recoil considering how fast it fires. Anyway guys, if you found this guide helpful, please give the video a like. You can also check out the description for a whole playlist of other unique weapons like this one, where I show you how I can customize them to get the best out of them. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description. And of course, you can subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos and guides. Thanks again for watching, guys. My name is ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscribers, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!